All right, we're back here with uh, part three, I guess we could call it. But uh, I'm taking a break on the polishing side. I got some more sandpaper and stuff to do that. But on the intake side, I'm going to somewhat port it for the B16 intake manifold. And I pretty much had this old gasket, and I just cut out the difference from matching this up to the B16 intake manifold. And keep in mind, this does not have to be done. You see just a little little bit of difference opening in all the way around pretty much and a little higher for the injectors so I'm gonna just grind that just just grind it out and leave it rough but yeah this does not have to be done I mean you see the only just a little bit difference you know but stay tuned all right here's how the first one pretty much turned out just opened it up around then widen the injector made it a little taller i know this ain't the most perfect beautiful job but you know i'm calling that pretty decent pretty good for that one Let's move on to the next Just open it up. I used this little Dremel. It, it was one wheel. It took one one of these wheels to do that, but it was a brown wheel. And I just I made my way around the edge to work it down to the edge, and I you know went down, grinded down to even try to even it out, make sure it's like a straight open, straight open deal, and kind of nerve wracking trying not to mess it up, but you know, it is what it is, and. I know this camera will not focus, but so I'm mainly worried about fucking up the injector area, but that looks pretty decent to me. All right, guys, here's what we came up with. Not the most beautiful, straightest work, but, you know, pretty happy how it turned out. You know, like I said, I just you know grind it down to the lip and then just eh, 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 eh. and you know I gotta clean it up. But same with the sides and everywhere. Luckily, my little rotary disc, I was able to you know just work it and just keep a steady steady motion when you're grinding. Get the edge. Then once I get a good edge, you can see and you just start working it down. You know grinding it so it's like a straight flow path. And then once. I was able to get this ground down so much I would just stick it in the old injector thing and work it up and down. Just watch your lines, try not to go in your lines and you do this area, you work it down, beep, 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 beep. you know, you get the, you get the idea. And remember, you don't not have to do this. You know, I'm just trying to help the flow on this head and you know, it's still raining outside. It's supposed to rain for the next couple of days and I'm going to flip this thing around and get back to polishing the exhaust side. You know, I could go in there and, you know, open this up and sharpen, knife edge this shit right here. But, you know, I'm not, I'm not even going to mess with it. I just wanted it to have a better flow for the, it's hard to tell, you know, how the, how my intake manifold is. I wanted to have that so it wasn't like hitting injector spray and just hitting. And, I mean, I guess it's good for it to puddle up and all that, but, you know. I wanted to have it opened up and everything port matched, but to be continued. Alright guys, so far I've used one sheet of sandpaper half on each hole, on these two holes. You know, another two hours in. Jesus, camera. May call that good, you know. For these two, get oh the wrong one. Get these two left. So I'm gonna put a couple more hours do those last two and maybe call that good. Not sure yet. All right, guys. Whew. I'm calling it good. 
good enough for me. So that's pretty much going to conclude 6 o'clock in the morning. But uh, I think the technique on it is, you know, I cut little strips and I fold, fold them up. I think the technique is it, to go at it dry and just go to hell, you know, go to hell with it. You know, get you a blister or two. But that's going to conclude part three. Part four, I'm probably just going to lap the valves and put the valve uh, seats on and, you know, just call it a day. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more updates.